Okay, we have lions. Okay. Uh, tigers, yes. And bears. Oh my. Ham, clean up on aisle bear. <laughs> Hi, husband. Oh, 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 that's you? Yeah, yes, dear. Yeah, like, um, I really like being with all these animals. I'm glad like, you like I'm that. I'm glad too. that we're on this zoo cruise. Yes, um, yes. There's just a, a, like a small problem. Like, like, like I love the hummingbirds, but, 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 but the, the, the seagulls, like, they, yeah, they kind of like pooped on my head today. And oh. I've been trying to get it out of my hair. So, you know what? Um, I was wondering, like, can I kind of take a swim, like, outside? Like, is there a way of me getting off just for a little break? Like, I'll come back, you know, I love it here. Um, is there a way, like, that I have my, you know, have this, I, like, I won't sink, like, I'll be okay, you uh, know, like, you, you can I take a break from the vacation? Like, is that a possibility? Uh, oh, dear, you remember what happened to the unicorns who had the same idea? Um, okay. So, we were, no, we're not gonna try that. Besides, it's day 127, how much longer will it be? I mean, how much longer could it be? Well, yeah, because, like, a vacation is, like, two weeks, right? I thought beginning end, two weeks, then we go back, I, like, yeah, like, I, is there an end, like, to the vacation? Like, is, is there an end? There, there should be. I'm getting the idea to send out some birds just to check, you know. Uh, and, and do you smell me? Like, uh, like I said, yes, I, I, I love it here. Like, it's mm -hmm. a zoo cruise, you know? But, like, mm. do, you, do you smell my clothes? That's the first thing I noticed about you, love. Well, I kind of went close to the skunk, and, and I like them. They're really cute, you know? Yeah. Um, but they, they kind of got scared. And, yeah, and that's kind of their whole thing, dear. Yeah. I thought you would... Uh... Yeah, so, like, I, I don't know how to get this smell off. Like, I was hoping to spend some time with you, but, like, you yeah, kind of look uh, like uh, you're going to uh, vomit. Uh, like, it's, it's fine. Um... We can't use the tomato juice to bathe you, so uh, maybe, uh, maybe just um, just uh, keep your distance for a bit, and we'll see where the Lord leads us in this season. Okay, so I spend like your, I said, I just, really like this boat. Yeah, just just I'm spend your go, season over there. Just, I'm gonna go feed. The yeah, do find the, the hippopotamus the, needs yeah, uh, watermelon. I'm gonna go feed the animals. Yeah, thank you, dear. Okay, bye. <laughs> Time. Boys and girls, I don't know what it was like, but can you imagine going on a road trip with your mom and dad being stuck in the car for 375 days? Oh yes, that's how long it took from the day Noah boarded the ark until God said, come forth. It was one year and 10 days. Wow. God is so awesome. I don't know what it was like for Noah and his wife, or Noah's sons and their wives, or Noah's animals, but when God said, come forth, all the animals left and their families, and Noah and his wife and their sons and their sons' wives went out, and the very first thing they did was build an altar of worship unto God thanking God that they had been spared, that they were saved, and that God was starting new with them once more. Look what happens. Revived, renewed, restored today, Bible Time Adventure. It's an altar. It's an altar. Lord, we just thank you for your abounding and abundant grace. Thank you for the fresh air. <sighs> Lord, we just thank you that you have sustained us throughout this wonderful journey. Thank you, Lord, that we got off the boat and now we're free. Thank you, thank thank you God, God, that you have sustained the life of each and every person and animal on your ark. Thank you, Lord, that that really long vacation is finally over. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, my Father, for you have been faithful and you have promised us good things in this new land. Thank you, Lord, that I can finally eat without the animals. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, that's great. We thank you, Lord, that you will give us fruit and much fruit in every kind of way. Thank you, Lord, that I can finally walk freely without stepping in any piles. Of thank you, Lord, for everything in general and that we are here now. We worship you. Wow. I hope the next time you see rain clouds that you look for rainbows because that 
is what happened after Noah and his wife built altars unto God. In fact, the whole family took those animals and sacrificed them unto God as a worship to God. And God responded with the most amazing thing. You know, rainbows are actually peace bows. What? What's a peace bow? Well, God set up a covenant with Noah that said, I will put my bow in the cloud, and every time you see my rainbow, you'll know that I remember that never again shall the earth be flooded. So when you see rain, you don't have to worry about anything like a flood ever happening again. You get to remember the goodness of God and how he kept Noah safe, Noah and all his family, and how Noah obeyed God and followed God's instructions. And guess what? The whole world was saved through Noah. Isn't that amazing? The whole world was saved through Noah and his obedience and his righteousness. You know what, kids? God's rainbow, when you see it in the sky, is like a kiss from heaven where God says, I remember and I'm with you and I'm for you, just like God was with Noah, with Noah on that boat for 375 days, with Noah after when they started to build the earth again and with you today. So when you see that rainbow, remember that rainbows are peace bows. Rainbows are God's promise to us that he's with us and he loves us and he's for us and he's not against us. Can you remember that? Rainbows are peace bows. All right, see you soon.